Camden-based researchers hope to bring one major promise of the Human Genome Project closer to fruition. They've launched a study aimed at enabling more effective, personalized use of genetic information in medical care. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The Human Genome Project took 13 years to determine the basic sequence of chemical letters in our DNA. Techniques developed to do that, together with more recent technological advances, can now be used to sequence a specific person's genome in a matter of weeks. But the Coriel Institute has geared up to capture medically meaningful personal genomic data in just days. The key is ignoring the parts of the genome that are the same for everyone, 99.9% .9 of it. At the sites that you and I differ, other people differ too. Those tiny genetic differences influence a lot of things that have a big impact on our health, like our likelihood of getting various complex diseases, diseases like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, the things that are really our major killers for, uh, in the U.S. And they also influence how we respond to different medications. In collaboration with several hospitals, the Coriel Institute has begun isolating personal genomic DNA from volunteers' saliva samples, applying that DNA to so-called gene chips, and running them through a largely automated laboratory for sequencing and analysis. Correlated with medical histories, genomic data will be available anonymously for scientific research and confidentially for use by participants, physicians. They're the ones providing medical care, and we, this is a two-way street to figure out how this is going to happen. Coriel President and CEO Michael Christman says the Delaware Valley Personalized Medicine Project aims to enroll between 10,000 and 100,000 participants, enough to support a variety of population-based research studies. Patrick Regan, NJM News, Camden.